Ariel Helwani post-fight at UFC 154 alongside Johnny Hendricks, who just knocked out Martin Campman in seconds. And Johnny, I just heard your coach Mark Lehman say, holy S, that just happened. I think he speaks for all of us. What a finish. Did you ever envision the fight ending that way? <laughs> yeah, I did. I knew that I have power and I'm believing in it. And I know I got that one hit wonder and more or less, I want a title shot. You know, let's be, quit being around the bush. I want a title shot. I think I've deserved it. I've went through the toughest guys in 170. Now I just can't wait to see how this fight goes so I get a shot at that belt. This is a guy, Martin Kamen, who has a very strong chin. You know, guys like Paul Daly have tried to knock him out like that, weren't successful. When you landed that first punch, did you know beginning of the end? Yeah. For some reason, whenever I throw it, man, it feels like it's, it's like hitting a pillow. Like it feels so clean. And then all of a sudden you see him timber. You know what I mean? It, that same exact shot as the John Fitch one. Like it was the exact same punch and it was the exact same fall. As soon as I saw that, I was like, crap, you know, get over there, finish the job. Uh, because I know he's tough. I knew that if I was gonna finish him, I had to lay him on his back and then finish him. Was part of the mindset here that you can't only win, you need to do something spectacular <laughs> because the UFC is kind of right now sitting on the fence as far as what to do with the winner of this fight? Uh, yeah, you know, and, and that's my biggest goal. Is everybody was probably thinking I was an idiot, but I wake up every day dreaming about a belt, trying to get a shot at that belt. And this fight was to prove that I deserve a belt, and I think I did that. So we were talking to you right before the GSP Condit fight. How nervous are you that if GSP wins, you won't get the title shot? Oh, I'm not. You know what I mean? Uh, I guess he's got to worry about some 170-pounders, you know what I'm saying, before he can go up. Uh, he hasn't faced anybody like me. You know, if he wins tonight, you know, he hasn't faced anybody really like me. A, a strong wrestler, a one-hit guy, if he really wants to be. And nobody's seen my jiu-jitsu yet, you know, so don't count that out. So you think you are a tougher test for him than Anderson Silva? No. <laughs> Anderson Silva is tough, you know, he's one of the greatest and I love watching him fight and I, I actually try to mimic some of his stuff. Do I do it? No, because I, I try to do my own style, but I, I, I like the guy, but there's some guys at 170 that I want a shot, I proved it tonight, I'm hoping I get that shot. Finally, how did you turn into <laughs> such a lethal striker? Where did this come from? <clears throat> Man, you, you know what really happened is that I got tired of people saying, you don't deserve you don't deserve to fight that guy you don't deserve to fight this guy and it, it sort of builds up into me and, and you know and the other day it clicked in me and I said it to all the news people they're like well he's a tough dude he's this he's this I understand everybody who steps in that octagon is tough and I was like you know what I'm gonna hit him one time that's all I want to do hit him one time if he takes it we're fighting if he doesn't it's over you know what I mean Johnny, congratulations. I think you clearly cemented your place as the number one contender at 170. Hopefully for you, you get that title shot. Hey, thank you so much. Have a great day.